Imagine a world where the Antarctic wasn't ice, but a dark, lush forest. Something lurks in its rivers, and it eats dinosaurs for breakfast. 120 million years ago, in the polar twilight, a small dinosaur cautiously approaches a riverbank. It lowers its head for a drink, unaware of the monster hiding just beneath the surface. The water is still. Too still. Suddenly, the surface explodes. A massive, flat head, wider than a car tire, erupts from the depths. Rows of sharp teeth clamp down with crushing force. The dinosaur is dragged under, disappearing into the murky water without a sound. This killer wasn't a crocodile. It was an amphibian. Meet Kulasuchus, the last of the Temnus bundles. This beast was over 15 feet long, a giant salamander from your worst nightmares. Its eyes were on top of its head, perfectly positioned to watch the shore for unsuspecting prey. It was an ambush predator of the highest order, ruling the polar rivers like a silent tyrant. While larger dinosaurs roamed the land, this creature dominated the waterways. For millions of years, crocodiles couldn't survive the freezing polar winters. This gave Kulasuchis an evolutionary advantage. It hibernated through the cold, dark months, buried in the riverbed mud, waiting for the thaw. When spring arrived, it would wake up hungry, very hungry. Anything that came to the water's edge was on the menu. Small dinosaurs, mammals, even fish were no match for its powerful jaws and lightning-fast strike. It was the undisputed king of its domain, a holdover from a much older, stranger time. It thrived in a world where most of its kind had already vanished, but its reign couldn't last forever. As the climate warmed, the crocodiles returned. They were faster, more aggressive, and better adapted. The ancient amphibian couldn't compete. Slowly, Kulasochius was pushed to extinction, a final, terrifying chapter in the story of giant amphibians. It was the end of an era, but its legend remains a chilling reminder of the monsters that once swam in the Antarctic's dark rivers. And if you think a dinosaur-eating salamander is strange, you haven't seen the creatures that ruled the oceans.